Welcome back to yet another Red Dead Redemption 2 Mysteries video. I think we're closing in on some of the last couple of videos here I'll be doing for this game. I just think that there's only so much content left in the game to talk about, so I'm only going to be covering a few mysteries today. And while there is still tons of stuff that I haven't covered on YouTube regarding the content within the game, I know it's a little bit pointless to milk this whole game dry since... It would only be incredibly repetitive and boring for most of you since obviously I'm not the only person on YouTube who's made videos like this. And I think the only thing that would keep the fun going is a DLC or something, but we haven't gotten any word of anything from Rockstar as of late. But with that out of the way, a like and a subscribe are always appreciated as it only does take a second out of your day to make mine. But with that said, let's take a look at some of the last few mysteries remaining in the game. A user on the Red Dead Mysteries subreddit actually found a stone with what appeared to be Nordic riding over on this area of the map. I never actually knew about this, so it came to me as a surprise, especially when the person who randomly stumbled onto this translated what it said. It says, we arrived by boat, beautiful land, gracious people, so we left them to live in peace. So I think there's a few things we could take away from this. Whoever wrote this on the stone here was clearly a group of travelers from a faraway land that arrived here by a boat on an expedition. Considering the lettering is Nordic, I think it's safe to assume that it very well could have been Vikings. And it's just a little nod to the fact that Vikings had arrived in America a long time ago. Uh, there's even a Viking helmet and a hatchet you can find in the game in an old tomb. So it definitely looks like it was Vikings who left this message here. I'm um, assuming that the gracious people it mentions on the stone here was the Native Americans from a long time ago, so it's actually just a pretty neat little thing you could find here in the game. Upon closer inspection, you can actually see that there's more symbols on the rock there. Unfortunately, people haven't figured out what it's supposed to say yet, at least not that I know of, but you can clearly see that the symbols go around in a loop on the rock, inside of what seems to be some sort of a snake or a serpent winding around the Nordic text. I'm not really sure what a serpent might represent and what it might have to do with the Vikings, but it's just another thing here that I wanted to point out, and if anyone figures out what the symbols around in the serpent say, then it would be really helpful if you could translate it and put it down in the comment section below so we could all take a look at what it means, because I personally love to see what it says, so... The next one is going to be a bunch of frozen cows up at this part of the map, and it's interesting because there's no reason for these cows to be up here in the snowy part of the map, and... In fact, some people mentioned seeing newspaper scrappings for missing cows, and maybe these are the cows that went missing. How did they end up here, and why did they all die? That's the question here. I don't think that anyone in their right mind would just take their cattle up north uh, to watch them freeze to death. I think it's safe to say that something mysterious happened here because I don't see any logical reasoning to this. You know, as crazy as it sounds, I think that it could have possibly been aliens. I know it's a pretty outlandish theory, but UFOs are known for abducting cattle, and of course UFOs are in the game, so I don't think it could be a stretch for this to be a solid theory here. Maybe the cows were abducted, and maybe they were probed and then dropped out here in the snow. Otherwise, I can't really seem to find any logical assumption here for this group of dead cows, so I mean, I don't know, what do you guys think about this group of cows here? I just sprawled out here in the snow. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think it could be, but I'll kind of use this to segue into the next mystery that people found, and it connects with one from my last video. Like I showed in my last upload, you can shoot the UFO in the cabin, and it actually significantly damages it. People thought, okay, well if you could do that with the first one, then you must be able to do it with the second one as well, and well it works with the second one as well, the one on Mount Shan. You just end up shooting it with something explosive, like this user over on Reddit did, with a sniper and the lights are shot off, just like the first UFO. Obviously, we don't know if this is a visual glitch or not, and it very well could be intentional, but what's even more interesting about the second UFO after you shoot it is the fact that it actually never goes back up into the sky. It stays there for a long time and you can actually end up seeing it during the day if you stay long enough. I really want to know if there's a third UFO, and to be honest, at one point I 100% believed that there was, especially considering all the things we found in the game that seemed to hint at more UFOs and aliens, but we just never found anything. Uh, you'd think that after several months of, you know, millions of players playing, <laughs> that we'd find another one by now, but we haven't. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll find anything anytime soon if it does exist, and I think our best bet would be for Red Dead Redemption 2 to come out on PC so people could you know, look into the coding of the game and see if there's any easter eggs we missed out on, like a potential third UFO here, but 
I'm not sure. I think it's just worth a shot. And for the final mystery here, I don't think it's much of a mystery, but it's really hard to make out if it's just a smudge on this loading screen or if it's literally the third meteorite landing into a lake. I'm not sure where this location is in the world, and maybe if someone watching this video actually knows, you can end up letting us know down in the comment section. Obviously, it looks like it's somewhere in the new Austin portion of the game, but again, I'm not sure. This could be a smudge on the loading screen, but the only reason I'm talking about this one is because it got a lot of people's attention and people thought that it could be the third meteorite we've all been looking for. Obviously, I mentioned the third meteorite in the past and how it apparently exists somewhere in the game according to Rockstar and that if maybe you collected all three, you'd end up getting a special power or something since, of course, it's known that the other ones give you a smaller... Uh, powers, but I've already talked about the meteorites and the third meteorite in my past videos, so I don't think I need to get too deep into it. Again, this could be the meteorite we've all been looking for, and if it isn't just a smudge and it actually is a meteorite, then the location here on the loading screen looks like somewhere in New Austin, and the meteorite looks like it's gonna land somewhere in this body of water here, and that could be the San Luis River or something, but I'm not sure. I thought it was worthy enough to be featured here in today's video, so look out somewhere in New Austin, maybe, um, you know, who knows, I don't really know that you can actually go in the body of water because John can't actually swim, and the only way to access this area is as John in the epilogue, and you can play as Arthur in New Austin using a glitch, um, but that's just not the way the game was intended to be played, so I don't think that swimming out onto the lake is what you need to do to get this meteorite. We know that you can actually fish out stuff other than fish from the water with your fishing pole, so it could very well be um, a location that we need to fish, and maybe we'll reel out the third meteorite or something. Other than that, that's gonna be it for the video. If you enjoyed it in any way or found it informative, a like and a subscribe are always appreciated, as it only does take a second out of your day to make mine. And before I sign off here, I just want to mention that the game and the content here is drawing to a close and unfortunately most if not everything is already found and the only way for me to post more videos like this is if anyone finds any new things regarding some of the older mysteries in the game. Otherwise there's no content left. I personally think Rockstar is being a little slow when it comes to updates, you know. We've seen small minor changes implemented in the online mode but it's nothing worthy of actual praise and attention in my opinion and I'd love to see them be more vocal about what their plans are for the future and you know any future content updates we'll be seeing. What's the plan looking like for the future? Any story updates? Any online updates? I just really want to know what we can expect for the future and possibly when. I think I might make a video about Rockstar's lack of DLC and the stagnating population of players in the game but I'm not sure because there's been a lot of people that have already posted videos criticizing Rockstar and the way that they're doing things right now with this game especially with the uh, Red Dead online mode. I think that a lot of people can agree that it's completely dead. I don't think that, you know, that's nothing further than a fact because it just is. It's a fact. The online mode experience is definitely not doing well at all right now because Rockstar is not putting out updates and they're not communicating with us as much as we'd like to because there's just some sort of like a miscommunication with them because they just never really tell us what's going on behind closed doors. And I can understand, I know a lot of people would say, okay, well, who cares? When Once they put it out, you know, it's actually better than knowing what's happening, which is true. But at the same time, in the world of video games these days, everything's moving super quickly. And if you're not, you know, communicating with your fan base, then you just grow distant. And some people might never come back. And that's really a tragedy because I would love to see the player base right now that we have right now continue playing the game further into DLCs and whatnot. Um, again, it's it's just the way that the world of gaming is dealt with these days. There just has to be communication from the developer and we just need to know what's going on because it just keeps people connected and playing the game and just overall communication is necessary for stability of the future in a game like this. So I know a lot of you are going to disagree and say this is Rockstar, you know, they don't need anyone's help, they don't need anyone's approval. At the end of the day, we're always going to be losing extra people that could have been playing the game. So again, for them, that means a loss of money, which is always their main goal, at least not the developers, but the people above them, the people with the suit and ties. So I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see what they have in store for us. Like I said in the past, I think that we might be getting a word of a DLC or a trailer sometime around 
late February or early March. I'm kind of looking forward to late March and maybe early April now. I really don't know, but I really hope it comes a lot sooner than that. At least some communication. I might post some variety content in the future. Not really sure now. Maybe you guys want that. Maybe you don't. Let me know down in the comment section below. Would you like to see other video games on this channel? But other than that, that's going to be it for the video. See you in the next one.